Hey YouTube, uh, I am 100% done with my GameCube portable now. In my last video it had a couple small, um, I don't know, bugs I guess that I've since worked out and I've added to it a little bit. Here it is next to a, uh, an actual GameCube. You can see it's about the same height and, you know, maybe half as thin, not including this thing, which I'll show you in a minute. And as far as width, it's maybe twice as wide. So, okay, so since my last video, the screen had some, some wavy lines going back and forth across it, which I fixed by rewiring uh, the, the wires from the screen to the motherboard. They were sitting on top of the power regulator, which is right about here. Um, inside underneath the screen and it was causing some interference was all and the speakers were flickering is the other thing and I fixed that as well uh, there was a not quite a bridge connection but al an almost bridge connection just a little piece of solder was a little too big and it was almost touching the next one and I guess it was occasionally um, bumping it or something so um, I had to and to drum all the thing open, and which wasn't actually nearly as bad as I thought it would be. But, okay, so I have also added this thing, which doesn't actually take up any space if you don't want it to. See, I just added this, this black circle, and it was a mini DVD holder that some mini DVDs I bought came in. And it doesn't interfere with anything. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to, but um, I kind of felt like having the laser just sort of hanging out in the open was a was a bad idea so um, it's kind of protected now and the disc is protected as well so if you wanted to actually like, lay it on your lap you could whereas you couldn't before I mean you could but you had to have your legs sort of apart and you could have it you could have it touch something and it wouldn't affect it so it does you know take up space when it's on but you know you don't have to have it on so I figured why not put it so let's see where I could smash bros I'm going to be using an official copy of Smash Bros. to demo it. And I'm going to use the, the cover as well because I can. And it's kind of hard to put on without being able to see, but you can see I took a little chunk out of it here just because I was kind of worried about the, the laser, although you can tell it, it wouldn't bump it. Um, so. That sound is a combination of the fans and the, um, the disk drive. The fans are kind of loud, and actually the whole thing has sort of like a lightsaber effect when you move it around. Let's see if I can show you. Okay, well it's not doing it right now, but the fans, once they get sort of... See how it's kind of getting louder? Once they get all the way going, I'll show you the kind of lightsaber effect. They make sort of a noise when you move them around. Um, let's see. The battery life, I tested it, um, and it was... Let's see, actually, I'm going to go back to Adventure so I don't have to fight anyone. Because I can't do this with one hand and I'm bad at melee anyway, so... Um, let's not embarrass myself. Uh, oh yeah, so I tested the battery life and it was a little over two hours, which is less than I predicted, but still not not bad. Okay, so here's the screen quality and camera's kind of out of focus, but um, the little lines that you can see on your screen aren't really on the screen. Um, that's just an effect that cameras have with LCD screens. Um, they don't like to take pictures of it. Okay, so left, right, up, move over, down, A, B, Y, X, R, L, Z, and this works. And I, I don't know that the C stick does anything in here. I never use it. 
I don't think the C-stick does anything. Maybe I can move the camera around? No. Okay, well I'll have to do a different game to show you that then. Um, so it, I did an entire uh, adventure smash run with this earlier and it's, it's pretty comfortable to play with over, over time. Um, start button's here. Start button. Uh, let's see, what else? Volume. Volume gets... Volume gets loud. Um, let's see. Let me turn it off. Um, let's see, the power button's there. You can only charge or play it. You can't do both at the same time. But even if you could, um, it, it wouldn't last very long anyway because it charges at one amp output is the charger and this thing sucks up about three. So even if you were charging and playing, the charger wouldn't be able to keep up. So, you know, no real reason to struggle with it. Um, it would have been possible to do if I'd had a second switch for the power on the GameCube, but that just kind of seemed like a little excessive since the charger can't keep up anyway. Um, let's see. Um, I think that's about it. I like this little thing. I think that's cool. Um, and the other cool thing is that if you, if you wanted, um, you could replace this one with a thinner one if you could find it, or a fatter one if you want, because you could just stack up, you could put all your games in here, and then just, you know, put it on here, and you could have, you know, like, ten games in here, and it would fit just fine, so, kind of a carrying sort of case as well. Um, and I like that it protects the disc from getting bumped. It doesn't mess with it, it doesn't, doesn't move around or wiggle. Um, I think that's pretty much it. No, no AV output, no headphone jack, unfortunately. Just a basic single player GameCube. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it. I think that for a first portable, it came out pretty well. Um, as you can see, it's got some cosmetic issues, like right here. Um, that's the, this plastic really hates me. I think my, <laughs> My biggest regrets are the the plastic I poorly chose for this case. I really did a bad job picking it. Um, it's got a lot of different problems. Um, but that and the headphone jack are my two, my only two complaints about this. But size-wise, I'm very much comfortable with the size of it. I think it's probably thinner than an Xbox controller. <laughs> um, the, the big ones. Um, it has the original uh, pull and click of the GameCube controller. Um, let's see. I think that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.